Governor Janet Mills is in Scotland this week talking with other countries about getting electricity from wind turbines mm. at sea. Offshore wind power has been a dream for some in Maine for more than 10 years. Yeah, for a lot of fishermen, though, it's a big worry. And today in Rockport, they were there face to face asking if there is kind of a way to share the ocean. The University of Maine has a design, has done the testing, and now wants to show that it works. The Aquaventus proposal for a floating wind turbine ran into opposition in two coastal towns a few years ago, then was stalled by former Governor LePage. We've opened the door to offshore wind projects. Supported Janet Mills has made it clear she wants offshore wind to happen, to get clean electricity to fight climate change. At the Maine Fishermen's Forum, the topic filled a big meeting hall where even opponents from the fishing industry said the fight over wind turbines may have to stop. Is it possible to coexist? I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't think we have a choice. We're going to have to learn to coexist. Um, from my understanding, and the governor is moving forward at, with this. The storm pulling sideways. The Aquaventus project has been changed. Instead of two big floating turbines, it now is just one very large 10 megawatt turbine. UMaine Vice President Jake Ward says they have to find a way to work together with the fishing community. I also think it's great timing that we will, if we are successful in building this, have a single term in demonstration farm to answer many of the questions or at least begin studying the questions that people are, can use to inform additional uh, work that might end up being in the Gulf of Maine. Among those questions, can floating wind turbines coexist with endangered right whales? How many vessels are we talking about? What kind of scheduling? How are you going to measure the effects on the right whales? Do you have a mechanism to do that? The Mills administration agrees it needs to be sorted out. Um, all marine mammals, including right whales, are, uh, need to be a concern. I, I know for a fact that it's a concern for National Marine Fisheries Service um, as they look at permitting. The university and the fishermen agree there are lots of questions that need to be answered. That and the time for the permitting process mean that it could well be several years before the first floating wind turbine could actually be built. In Rockland, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. Now, Jake Ward of the University of Maine says other parts of the world, especially Northern Europe, have a strong interest in building floating wind turbines. Uh, Southern New England has been developing ocean wind power, but so far it's being done with turbines that are fastened to the ocean bottom instead.